Masking in Adobe Premiere Pro in 2025. How do you create that effect when one person walks from one side to the other and the background changes? First, we need the clip of the person walking. In this case, we're gonna use this clip of this astronaut. Next, you need the background clip that is gonna go underneath this one. In this case, I'm gonna use this relaxing forest stock footage. As you can see, right now you can see that scene because this clip has full opacity. So what we need to do is to mask the path of the astronaut. To do that, we gotta find the first clip, which I think is like somewhere around here, where you can see the back, see? And we're gonna start right there. This is gonna be your beginning point. Now, I want the clip to start somewhere around here. So I'm gonna remove the extra. Now we have this part. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna rotoscope or mark a path all the way in the back of the astronaut. To do that, you select the astronaut clip and then you hit this tool in opacity. And this is the tedious part because you gotta go dot by dot making a path all the way in the back. In Premiere, for some reason, this process is still manual and it takes a while. In other software like CapCut or After Effects, you can do it by just selecting the subject. As you can see, the background is already removed behind the astronaut, which is great. But we need to do this on each frame. And as you can see, the time that the astronaut leaves the clip will be somewhere around here. So that's 3.7 seconds, as you can see here. Let's make a mark and let's go back to frame one. Select the astronaut clip and hit the mask. Now, if you go to the next clip and modify the mask, it's gonna modify the first clip because you didn't hit this clock right here, the mask path. You gotta make sure you click that because that's gonna be making frames every time a change is made. So next frame, if you see that you can drag it like this, just do that. In things like a car, a box, or anything like that, it's usually easier to do this manually. You can also go back and adjust the clips for each frame. So let's accelerate this process and we'll see how the final result looks like. You may be wondering, oh, what's happening down here? I can still see part of Mars. Yes, that needs to be adjusted, but we can do that at the end. It depends on when you want to do it. But as you can tell, this is a very tedious process. Even though it's three seconds, if you're editing a video that is 60 frames per second, that is doing this 60 times every second. So that will be around 180 frames if it's 60 seconds. I believe we're working right now with uh, 30 frames per second. That means that we're gonna have to do this around 90 times, but we're almost there. Okay, so we finished the whole section and as you can see, it's not perfect, but you can tell that the effect is working. What we have to do now is to go frame by frame and make it better. Just adjusting the clips a little bit per frame. A lot of people prefer to do this the first time, that way they don't run into problems because as you can tell when I go back to the next clip, it doesn't stay the way that you did it, it goes back to the original form, which means you're gonna have to move these clips again and again. So if you prefer, you can just do this from the beginning. But as you can see, this is extremely tedious. If you're a professional working with Adobe Premiere Pro, and you do this effect often, or you feel like you're gonna be doing this effect often, I would recommend you to either use After Effects, which I can make a video explaining how to do it there, or even easier, you can use CapCut, which I'm not sure, but I think is free, at least to do this effect. And it's as simple as clicking the subject. There are also other tools out there that are online, like Runway, which is an AI tool that helps you do certain effects on video. Back in the day before there was software offering this tool, that would be your only option. But nowadays there's a lot of software out there that makes this function extremely fast. As you can tell, 
this takes a lot of time. And back in the day, I remember hearing from teachers in my film school saying that this was a highly requested job. They will have people rotoscoping for movies, cable. You will have to rotoscope cable to get rid of it on the scene. Nowadays with AI, you hardly have to do anything. This process right here is pretty obsolete, but if you're just doing a simple project or you just want, you don't want to swap software and you just want to do it here, this is what you have to do. They haven't implemented this tool in the software yet and I believe it's because they want you to use After Effects for it so you have to sign up for another subscription but in the meantime apparently the only way to do it on Premiere is manually. Getting to that final step, as you can see here, we got 26 frames left. So we have to hit the button 26 times. This is not for somebody that is impatient, that's for sure. It's very, very tedious and it takes some time. And I will never recommend anybody to do this for a client if you do video editing for a living. Now, if you're just doing fun videos, go ahead and take your time no rush, but I will highly recommend anybody to jump into After Effects or CapCut and just do it there because it literally takes like three seconds. I will make a video doing this in CapCut so you can see what I'm talking about. It's extremely simple, but if for some reason you prefer to stay in Premiere, you're gonna have to deal with this very slow process. Okay, I think that's it, let's see. As you can see, it's not perfect. And if you really want it, especially in this frame, and if you notice a mistake like this, you gotta go back to the specific frame and adjust. A lot of people also like to use feather, which is an effect here that kind of like makes the cut a little less obvious, like this. But it's minimal. If you want to use feather, go ahead, but you don't have to. Okay, now we have this. Normally you have to take the time to make sure it's perfect, but I didn't. I did it kind of quick. However, the result is really nice. I will personally accelerate this like 200%. Okay, that works pretty well. As you can see, that was a long, tedious process and other software like CapCut can do this in seconds. So if you want to watch that video, go ahead and I'll show you how to do it in CapCut so you don't have to do this long process. But if you prefer to do it in Premiere, you will have to do frame by frame of masking. This particular example was kind of difficult because even this arm, as you can see, I will have to go in and adjust it. But there are other times where the subject is closer or maybe you're doing it with a car which is a lot simpler. If you have more questions about editing, feel free to sign up for my school account. If you wanna learn more about the business, how to make money editing, or if you wanna learn more technical things about editing, I will be happy to help you. Just sign up for my school account. If you like this video, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.